right here's the barrels I got the other day I wanted to show you the kit that I'm gonna use um, it's from United Stove Company you know everything comes the door the legs the damper and then this kit here allows you to double stack so it comes with those legs and then the little piece in between so I'll make a whole video on that getting these together my buddy ended up having these barrels I ended up getting for free so I got a little bit of oil in them but uh, that, those are that'll all burn off so but the uh, next project before this is going to be the manure spreader. Um, probably get that done today. All right, guys, welcome back to the hobby farm. Um, today I went ahead and fixed the manure spreader, as you can tell. It's working okay. Uh, Take care of that tire. Not leaning in and rubbing on that bar anymore. Let's see if you guys can see that. Yeah, that bar right there is more thin. This tire was rubbing on that. People had it before, just left it like that. So, I went ahead and shimmed it up from the inside and welded in some shims there to keep it off of that. That should work. But I finally got it going. Now we just need to ground the freeze. Missing one crossbar right there, but that's okay. That'll be all right. It'll still, it still moves the manure. took me probably a good hour and a half. I couldn't really get any footage on it because it was underneath, plus I was doing some weld. So I wasn't sure how that was gonna turn out, so I didn't film it, but uh, I get plenty of filming, using it once it freezes up. It's cold today, but now everything's thawing back out. It's probably gonna thaw out here in the next three or four days to the point to where you're gonna have a hard time walking through the stuff. It's, it's just gonna be so muddy. So. Here in the next couple days, I'm gonna work on these barrels here, put that kit together, and then I'll take it outside and burn off the paint on the barrels. And then I'll have to do either through the wall or through the, the roof. I'm not sure what I wanna do yet. The one through the, the roof is uh, about $325, and then the one through the wall is about $585. So, but I really don't wanna go through my roof Took me a long time to shingle this thing and I don't want to cause a leak in it, so I don't know yet. But that's coming up here pretty soon and uh, I want to get working on some of those raised beds after I get that done and I can have some good heat in here. Because right now, I'm just heating it up with that turbo heater, which is fine, but it's loud. It smells like diesel fuel because I don't really use kerosene. It's just too expensive. So I'd rather just have wood. I have access to wood as much as I want. So I'd rather just use a wood burn. So I'm gonna get that together and hopefully keep some heat in this garage. Maybe not overnight, but you know, somewhat. So I can get some projects done over the winter. But uh, yeah, I just wanna fill you in on a manure spreader. I got that all done and uh, hopefully it works. I'll catch you guys later.